Hi, I'm Sally with Olympus, and I'm here with one of my colleagues, Richard Pelkowski, who is the product manager for our interchangeable lens cameras. Those are all of the Micro Four Thirds pin cameras, the DSLR interchangeable lens cameras, and it's, it's a pretty exciting time for us, isn't it, Rich? Oh, it certainly is. We've got a brand new category of product that you're going to tell us about today. It's called the OMD, correct? That's correct. What, what is, I know we've got a lot of cameras out here, what is OMD? OMD is an entirely new category for us within the Micro Four Thirds family, and as you can see, it differs very drastically from our pen cameras that we've introduced previously in that it has an electronic viewfinder built right into the camera. The new OMD product, is that the first product from Olympus that offers a built-in EVF in Micro Four Thirds? That's correct. There is electronic viewfinder option available for the pen products via clip-on with the accessory port. Okay, okay. Well, these look really similar in size, but it's the, it's the top part there that looks different. This one's kind of unique, though. It looks like a regular 35 millimeter camera. It does. As you can see, it's got a lot of heritage and similar appearance to the um, OM10 that I brought in here with me today. Yeah, check this out. I mean, it really, I mean, you could probably mistake this for film camera, I think, if you were out shooting. Yes. Nice, nice. So, you know, it's got an EVF. Is the EVF similar to the EVF, what was it, the uh, VF2, right? It's, it's, it's very similar in many ways, but it's also improved in many ways as well. <laughs> it's got a much higher uh, refresh rate for a more realistic view when you're you know, composing on a moving subject or panning. And it also has a lot of high quality optics built in to the viewfinder assembly, you know, in between that LCD chip that's in there, that little display that's in there, right. and the diopter on the viewfinder, which, okay. which has a lot to do with the high eye point feature, the magnification, and, um, and even color balance, you know, that you're seeing through there. I see there is a built-in diopter on the left, and I'm, I'm looking here. Does this also have an accessory port on it? I'm going to pass that over to yes, you. Yes, it has an accessory port, and it's actually covered with this little weatherproof cover here, which you can just pop off because another unique feature with this product is it's our first Micro Four Thirds product that's actually splash and dustproof construction throughout. Wow, I know I read it's, it's a magnesium alloy body similar to the E5, our top-the-line DSLRs. And that, that camera is a splash-proof design and dust-proof, so this is now a really small portable camera that has those same attributes in, right? Yes, and it's really the same level of weatherproofing. It's got a series of seals built throughout the body. Um, you did mention its metallic construction. Mm -hmm, it's very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. The top cover, the front cover are separate magnesium castings. The bottom cover is aluminum, and then the back frame is a combination of metallic and polycarbonate um, construction. I've got to ask you one question. It looks so much like a DSLR. Why not just put a mirror in this body and and make it a new DSLR instead of a Micro Four Thirds product? A Micro Four Thirds product, I guess I should I should comment, is obviously a mirrorless product. There is there's no mirror. It is yeah, that's part of the Micro Four Thirds standard. Right. Yeah. So what, what is the advantage of that as opposed to simply taking this footprint, this body design, and making a, a DSLR with a mirror? Sure. Um, let, let me start by saying that the optical viewfinder system in an SLR camera is, this is a tremendous design. It's a timeless design. It's mm -hmm. been with us since the um, 1960s, and there's a reason for that because it's, it's, you know, it's a what you see is what you get, depth of field preview, focus on, and, and so forth. And it's a very intimate experience to have your eye in the viewfinder and to be focusing and composing as opposed to using an LCD panel. Having said all that, there are some limitations with this analog uh, viewfinder on the traditional SLR, whether it's film-based or, or digital as we have today. By removing the mirror box and making it a purely electronic viewfinder in here, you can really realize a lot of the advantages and features that are built into the digital camera. You know, one of the other um, things as I study this new product from Olympus, this new OMD, one of the other advantages, I think, with the electronic viewfinder as opposed to a, a standard optical viewfinder is the fact that you can actually see the image as it's projected off the image sensor, correct? Yes. So, obviously, if you're making any exposure adjustments, where normally, you know, you would be able to look on the LCD and say, oh, you know, I can adjust the exposure, see it on the LCD. Now, 
with an EVF, you can see that through the viewfinder without ever taking your eye away, correct? Very much so, and it's a great aid to the photographer. You know, a, a very experienced shooter, you know, you pretty much know what you're going to get when you're shooting manually, but it's great to have that preview. You know, additionally, in very dim or bright conditions, the analog viewfinder has a lot of limitations because you might be able to see what you're composing, but you're going to lose a lot of detail. It's a lot more difficult to manually focus if you have to. With the electronic viewfinder, it's going to automatically compensate in dim or very bright conditions to make it easier to compose and to see what you're doing with your with your control settings on the camera. It's taking, as you said, it's taking advantage of all the the technology that we have to date into a really very sophisticated product that's designed for the way people use cameras. Yes. I, I guess, let me ask you this. Is the model OMD or what's the actual model name? What's the... Well, OMD is the family okay. within Micro Four Thirds. Actually, the product name, as you can see here on the top of the camera, is mm -hmm. E hyphen M5. Okay, EM5. so it's an EM5. All right, good. So EM5. What else besides built-in electronic viewfinder? Well, it shares a lot of the features with the previous pen products, but it's got a lot more going on inside that's new. The EVF, as I mentioned, it's totally a new method of integrating it into this product. Right. Now I do know that there's a completely redesigned, this is this is really interesting, a completely redesigned uh, image stabilization system in this product. It certainly is. It is now what we're terming a five axes AF system. So, okay. you know, previously we could compensate for, you know, movement, you know, up and down and, you know, right to left, but right. actually you know what we found by studying, um, you know, camera movement, that and, yeah, and then looking shooting. at the resulting images right. that they captured. There's a lot more going on. It's a, it's it's really more likely that you're kind of going like this with oh, the camera, rolling. or maybe yeah, or a little yeah. bit like this. So you're either tilting, Correct. You're back and forth, or you might be rolling. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's entirely a new circuitry to control that, a new gyro to detect the movement. But also the, the IS unit itself is, is completely redesigned. It's, it's faster, it's more precise, right. it can detect and compensate in all those different directions. And what's really amazing that I think proves the point of how fast, responsive, and accurate it is, that IS system is now also being employed during movie shooting. Oh. Whereas previously you had the electronic type of image stabilization. Yeah, no, that's, so it's actually movies. utilizing the physical IS system during movie shooting. Yes. If you're filming now and you're walking or even running at it, as long as it's not an erratic movement, it will actually be able to stabilize. It's almost like having a little steady, steady cam inside your camera. Yes. To some degree. Yes, that's correct. That's very, very cool.